Technology we know just keeps advancing. In fact, the latest iPhone and watch can now detect if you've been in a car crash. It's a great tool, but it's causing a major headache for area first responders. News Channel 5's Aaron Cantrell tells us how it's draining resources in Dixon County. There are several ways to get a hold of emergency services on smartphones, but a lot of users don't know that these features exist, but there's one feature on the iPhone that has become a nuisance for first responders. In a matter of seconds, your life can change, and many times that can happen while you're behind the wheel. Smartphones make it easier to contact 911 through different settings on the phone. Of your emergency. But the latest feature on the new iPhones and Apple Watches? Your iPhone or Apple Watch for accurate severe crash detection. It's creating a problem for many first responders like Dixon County EMA. On average, they receive one to two false calls a week because of the technology. They dropped their phone while they were in their car. They had to slam on their brake and their phone flew out of their cup holder or flew off their chair. And we've even had some of them where their phone has just dropped off their countertop at home or it fell out of their pocket or their lap while they were getting out of their vehicle at a store or at their house. Public Education Officer Tony Calhoun says it may seem minor, but it's draining their resources. It's causing a delay in any additional calls that may come out. Um, we're having to tie up resources trying to locate calls. And attempts to reach iPhone users go unanswered. The iPhones are just detecting a crash or a drop in the phone and nobody is answering whenever dispatch calls them or nobody cancels the crash notification and therefore uh, dispatch will automatically page us out for a possible crash. We reached out to Apple to find out what's going on. They say crash detection technology is always changing and it happens through the iOS updates. It has bugs like everything does and once those get fixed and everything I think it would be an amazing resource that we can use. Calhoun thinks most users aren't aware of the newer technology and hopes in the future companies offer more guidance on how it works. There is information out there, but you have to kind of dig and do some Googling to find it. In Dixon County, Aaron Cantrell, News Channel 5. Thank you, Aaron. iPhone users are encouraged to download the latest iOS update that'll help fix some of the problems. And check newschannel5.com to learn how to enable your phone's emergency services.